future students interested in the STEM industry can look forward to a new science building in the works at SF State. State of Events, Nasu Nguyen has more with the story. That is right, Erica. Now, I don't know about you, but I've been hearing a lot of construction sounds every time I walk on campus, so I took it upon myself to see what the noise is all about. Students wandering around campus may have come across some major construction. SF State is planning a new science and engineering innovation center. The $175 million project aims to provide state-of-the-art technology for the program. Serving as a highly visible main entrance from 19th Avenue, the building is looking to brand the College of Science and Engineering as a major outlet of Bay Area STEM study. Genentech was the biggest donor for the new building, with over $10 million. It is expected to serve over 7,000 STEM students each year. You should be able to accommodate quite a few, quite a bit more uh, students on this building. So I imagine larger classes, maybe more classes. That way, uh, students don't have such a don't have to don't have such a hassle to register for science classes. This marks 50 years since the last construction of a STEM building at the university. The SEIC will be a 125 square foot building. The university hopes that the building will spark more engagement with students from all majors, not just those studying science. I'm a Beck major and we got a new building, Marcus Hall, and I love it. I love that it's all new, everything's new, uh, new facility, new equipment. It just brings the excitement to the students and it'll engage them to learn, so I think they'll love it. The Innovation Center is designed to achieve leadership in energy and environmental design, including a 100% all-electric building and a 20% reduction in storm runoff water. The Science and Engineering Department is excited for the new possibilities that the building will offer. We've been working really hard on the fundraising side to make sure that we're not going to be taking a bunch of old equipment from this building and putting it into the new building, that we're really going to bring state-of-the-art equipment that will mirror the type of equipment that students will see when they go into industry. A lot like Marcus Hall. So we want the students to be working with the equipment that they anticipate engaging in once they graduate. And that's our hope for this new building. Now the Innovation Center is expected for completion in 2024. The university says they are confident that the building will meet the workforce needs of Bay Area STEM industries. Reporting in San Francisco, Nasu Nguyen, State of Events. Nasu, what have the students' response been about this new project? Well, Erica, it seems like the students are always excited for new advancements to the university. And I can say that students who get to use this building in the future will be very appreciative of what it has to offer. Thanks, Nasu.